So this is a powder modeling finger. White and clear. We have classes coming up. Um, due to popular demand, I'm doing this very thin because I'm encapsulate it clear. Due to popular demands, um, I'm, I'm gonna turn all my classes back into acrylic and uh, advanced uh, beginner and advanced classes. I'm gonna include acrylic in all my classes now. We try doing an advanced class for nail art only for our advanced, more advanced students, but I feel like um, people still wanted their acrylic portion, so switching that out. Um, so our first one's gonna be in Denver coming up here. So if you guys are interested, feel free to DM. And I'll probably do some in Seattle, my private ones, just me. I have to encapsulate this later, so I'm gonna leave it as is. This one doesn't have the glitter on it, right? So the pink is that the ring finger is the nice little white three of time watch out going do a new set. I need a new set anyways. Marble at the end. So this has to hold into it. Yeah. And then um, that is this marble and okay. marble and pink. Purple. And a nude, nude, when use the nude. The reason why I like using my smaller brush is it's actually easy for me to powder marble with a smaller brush than a bigger brush. So I'll definitely have to encapsulate this with clear later. I'm gonna get this very thin. This one I have to ombre, so. No, pink or nude? So I have to open back, back up my book to set more, more of my, of my other clients in. I've been, I closed it down for like six months now. There's so like everything. Uh, like I know you still do nails. You still, I see you still you still do that one girl's nails. I'm like I know, I know. Special case. This one's an ombre.
down there. When you pick up the Marvel Beauty, you pick up the light and dark color. I pick up always the the, the darker color for uh, the lighter color. I recommend picking up, the, if you're new at picking up the two side beads, I recommend picking up the lighter color first because case if your lighter color drops in the dark color, it's fine. You don't want the dark color dropping the lighter color. Like if you're using blue and white or something like that, you wouldn't want blue pigment to like actually drop into it, you know? So I recommend if you're uh, you're a beginner and you're, you're still lack control of picking up two, two beads, pick up the lighter color first. Because a little bit of clear dropping into my white is going to be okay, but my white dropping into the clear, no bueno. You know how long it's been since I've worked with a 10 brush? Wow, I, I keep forgetting how much control I, I have with my 10 brush. This used to be my most popular brush. Now it's a 16, but 14. But my 10 brush is always sold out back in the day. Like I was doing like XL sets with it and stuff. People were like, what, how did? How can you do like all that long design, all the stuff with a 10 brush? I'm like, ah, very, very simple. It's about control. And people think that like, you can't pick up a big bead with this brush. Oh no. Add one bead, a whole XL nail. Ooh, look at that, pretty. I love that pink. Is that not, this is not, this pink is number 15. Number 15 by uh, Chisel, solid 15. Just, uh, just I want to tag you so you can help me share and also uh, let you know I'm still doing nails. <laughs> Ooh, a little runny, but it's okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. A lot of you guys be panicked right now. This is a good example of control, okay? See how runny that was? I just started controlling the powder. Make sure it's stabilized. A lot of times you guys just let it run down or just swipe it off. Don't. Just fold it in. Fold it in, y'all. See? It stabilizes, then you can move it whenever you want it. <laughs> I did it on purpose just to show you guys what to do in that situation. <laughs> See? Simple. Good recovery. Oh, Leah, I still gotta send you some stuff. I keep forgetting. Why do you DM me so I don't forget, okay? I gotta admit, though, I'm really digging this 10 brush. This is a must have brush for it. Um, but my 10 brush is actually a little bit um, larger than most, and also it's crimped, so. I will do a YouTube video for you guys soon on the difference between a crimp brush and a crimp brush. I'll, I'll use both of them in like a demo or like picking up beads and I'll show you guys the difference, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys that don't know what a crimp brush is, because my brush is crimp, that's why I'm able to use it the way I'm using it right now. It's, pick, it's, it's a 10 brush, but you, you guys are probably thinking, well, that's kind of crazy for a 10 brush to be able to pick up big beads and stuff like that, yeah.
and that's one hand done. I'm gonna save my um, encapsulation for last. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the other hand. Ooh, look at, ooh! Mmm, spicy. Cause I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna change out my monomer once I, um, uh, once I do my clear. So I'm not gonna do my clear now. So let's see this, I waved it that way. So I need the opposite direction from this hand. You love this set already? I'd say your 10 is different. Yeah, my 10 is different from others. People get my 10, they're thinking, oh, it's a small brush. And then they're like, oh, it's crimped. Oh, oh, it's, it's big. It's not that big where it's gonna be crazy, but it's actually very versatile. That makes sense. Definitely my fan favorite, my 10 brushes. I think like when I first started doing lives, a lot of my beginner um, supporters, Everybody loved the 10 brush, even the advanced people. I'm like, I don't know why, this is more comfortable with your 10 brush. I'm like, yeah, I said, I don't mind. Having a smaller brush, it's easy for you to be able to do these marbling effect. Let's go back and forth. Creating my marble. If you're doing clear marble like this, gotta make sure that it's, um, you're uh, using um, a really, really pigmented white. Don't use milky white or any of that. Because you, once you marble with clear, it's actually gonna tone the white down. And if you have a milky white, it's gonna be even more toned down and you won't be able to see the effect, the swirl effect of the white. How do I know that? I've done it. I've tried it with milky white. I'm thinking, oh, it'll be faster. I just use the milky white. It didn't look that good. Because it, it didn't pop out like how a white would pop out like that. For these ones, I'm just gonna put gold flakes in there still, so. If you make mistakes, it's fine. Just like, you know, you can make it up with the gold flakes and stuff later. Not mistakes, but like there's certain areas that you don't like, you know? Just put some gold flakes on there, cover it up. That's why I'm not putting the gold flakes on now. I'll do it later when I do my clear encapsulation. Live so long, people were probably thinking about is that really not that live? Doing nails? Hit that share button, y'all. Share your small group, local groups. Someone might enjoy this. Absolutely will enjoy it. I can't share too much because it makes it see it's fan. This, this ombre power marmalade is in, y'all. Ombre. Oh, I can't wait to be finished with this monomer. It's, it's getting pigmented by white. See, look, look at this white. It's gonna be so runny, but I'm gonna hold on my brush. Look how big this beat is. Look at this. You struggle with marble? I know. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Marble is actually a very it's a, it's an advanced thing because it requires you to have a lot of control over the powder. Um, it ain't easy. It takes time. Good practice, though. I'll start putting more tutorial because I, I can't do a lot of tutorials on um, my reels because they're only 30 seconds on Facebook. So it's like it's hard for me to show everything. So that's why I'm gonna focus on Facebook when it comes to tutorial. I'll do short clips here and there on my Facebook, but uh, to see the full video, you have to go over to the YouTube where you'll get more, more time to watch and stuff like that. This ombre right now, ombre is a very, very simple technique now. It's almost standard to know how to do ombre now in the nail industry. Surprisingly, ombre was a design. Now it's like almost a standard practice. Everybody should know how to do ombre when they come to the industry. Because it's, it's being done so much and then I think like the, the quality of nail techs now are a little bit higher than before. Because yeah, before when ombre first came out, uh, that's when acrylic powder, color acrylic powder first came out. So a lot of nail techs are still new to using acrylic uh, color powder. So that's why, you know, ombre was considered a designer, advanced, you know? But now, since we have acrylic powder, color powder, so many companies and everything like that, it's crazy. And it's almost normal to have, to, to work with acrylic powder. So now it's like, ombre is like, it's expected. 
So I had to do my classes, I always teach ombre. Make sure that everybody gets ombre down. So that's an expectation for them. I'll make sure my students are, are good on that. Oh my god. I don't wanna put I don't wanna put more mono right now, but I think I, I think I can make it. I can make it with the rest of this mono right here. It's because I'm using white, clear, pink. It's, it's a lot of contamination going on right now. My 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 monomer is getting kind of murky. But I think I'm gonna finish off this monomer here and move on so I can get my fresh fresh monomer. So I can do my clear clear and cap. The reason why we do that is because I don't want to use a, a lot of guys are using monomer that's been contaminated to do your clearing cap. That's why you have issues with bubbling and inconsistencies um, because the monomer is contaminated. Whenever you're encapsulate, encapsulating, it should be the last step of your nail process. And, sh and that should be very easy for you to, um, you know, switch out your monomer at that point and not feel like it's wasted because the other monomer is going to be thrown away anyways, right? Add the gold and clear. It's gonna be a really nice, nice set, finishing set. It's like spring, classy. We're in Florida, so it's always spring here, so I don't know about you guys. I know you guys are, people got snowstorms and shit. Telling you, these things look so much better with these type of designs. Like, you gotta learn that. Oh my god. What am I doing? I should switch the monomer out by being lazy. It's okay. One last finger. It took me about an hour. I think I'm at an hour. I don't know. Can someone check the time? Maybe 40, 48 minutes or something like that. I'm gonna start to finish here. Um, just a final encapsulation. This set should be done in less than an hour, to be honest with you, because I'm live and it takes me a little longer. So, look at that, my monomer. We're down to the last bit of it, huh? I'm gonna put away all the stuff. I'm gonna leave out the clear. I need the clear. I'll put away the pink. Clean my brush. I know my brush has been taking a beat, beating brush get rid of this old monomer which is really nothing like I didn't waste any at all <clears throat> get my gold flakes out just a little bit go for it get on Amazon now fresh monomer to work with my clear because I do not want any issues with my clear being contaminated cloudy murky this is the same word all the time hell yeah, yeah. I'm first, I'm gonna pre, pre cut these out, just bits and pieces. You can also do this last too, but I'm gonna just encapsulate now. Like, you can finish and put like a little bit of sticky top coat, uh, base coat, and then you know, put, apply this over it. But you might as well encapsulate. She doesn't get refills anyway, so she gets a new set every time. So, so I'll use my clear, give myself a little bit of sticky base on here. Tastefully, okay guys, don't go too crazy with this, okay? We don't want to overtake the design itself. The design itself is the marble. The gold just adds a little bit of accent to it. A lot of times you guys just slap too much gold on there and it just overtakes the whole design. It just doesn't make any sense, okay?
mess this more when it comes to designs. Just like that's all you need. I'm sure there are other ways to apply these gold, but this is just how I want to do it this time around. <laughs> and I'm gonna capture everything in clear and I call it a day. So I do the opposite. Um, this actually is a very common uh, thing, but I think a lot of people forget about it. Um, when you're doing designs and this is the same design on each finger, on the other hand, opposite hand, you're not gonna do the same direction with the design. You have to reverse the design. This looks better, okay? Because when you put the hands together to take a picture, you don't want both, they look like they have two left hands. <laughs> Or two, you know, or two right hands. If that makes any sense. I'm sure that makes sense. Somewhat. You know what I mean? With the, the design in the same direction on both hands, so they look like that two, two right hands and two left hands. We don't want that. See, so I'm finding that clear very thin. I just need that clear to be there. So I can kind of embed this gold into it. So when I encapsulate, it, the gold doesn't move when I drag the clear powder through later. See what I mean? How everything's in reverse of each other and not the same direction. You don't want to run into that. Ooh, that's cute, cute, cute. Pretty simple set. Nice set. All right. Now we're just gonna go through and cap. You are now structure because this is not what we want. That's not structure. That clear should hold the gold on there. Thank you so much. My monomer are pretty much works with any product you can imagine and use. It's very, very nice. It soaks up very easy. It's 100% EMA. So those, it's, <laughs> it's currently out of stock. I don't know why you're advertising it. But yeah, it'll be back in stock probably next week.
me show you the shape. Nice and crisp. This is the finishing touch. Good apex. It's nice. Hey, Suanna, how are you? Little busy bird. She's so busy. I think she's done even harder working than me. Get the job. Every time I see Suanna's Facebook, it's either she's working on nails, or she's going, going to school, she's getting her certificates for medical. You know, golly. That's what I like to see for acting. Okay. Remember, this clear is pretty much the structure of your nails. So you gotta make sure the structure is there, okay? Because we did a very thin, you know, base for the, the design, so the clear has to be applied correctly to make up for the structure. Because I wasn't worried about structure when I was doing the design part, the marbling. That's why I am. Drill bits coming in, a drill bit set for those who've been asking. So this one, I'm not going to do too much clear. Um, I'm just gonna do just enough. Encapsulating and also protecting my ombre. Right? With clear running <laughs> when you when you get to the clear phase just turn up the, 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 the you know down the AC a little bit get in about 75 76 degrees in the room you're working at and uh, the monitor will set level faster and make sure the clear is not too too running on you in there so, a little bit more monitor here notice I add monitor little by little as I go I ain't gonna go too crazy with it now I don't want to waste it Remember, already this one I didn't have to encapsulate anything, so my white is thick enough. So I'm just gonna do that just to protect the ombre, okay? This is the finishing touch, all I'm doing is working with clear right now. Capping my ombre. Ooh, didn't want that. They recommend getting a new paper towel so you don't have that gold in there. Finish. Application laid. I did with my tent brush, y'all. Size so tent brush is so small and dinky. But honestly, I think you, this type of design is better using a, a smaller brush. 
because you're actually working with smaller, like smaller and smaller steps and small increments of stuff. So you really don't need a big brush to get a big bead or anything like that, to be honest with you. So I think a smaller brush for these type of sets are actually more convenient for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not doing a one bead and all that marbling. I'm doing multiple marbling, multiple steps. So I need a smaller brush. It gives me more control and uh, also more control of the product because I don't have a bigger brush. I have to pick up a lot more product and there's a lot more requirement for me to control. So it's actually preferred the smaller brushes for like sets like this. This whole process, well, lucky you, everything that goes live on Nailed Studios page gets saved forever. So when I'm done with this, I can save it and you can rewatch it at your own pleasure. Dang, can't believe I'm reopening my books up. Taking clients in again. Wow. I'm gonna post on Instagram. See how many people are excited about it. <laughs> Give more nail lights for you guys. Remember this one, I don't need that much because I already did it. Love watch out. Thank you so much. timing is right now what am I at time wise does anybody know can someone put it in the comment I said earlier I was at 40 that should be over an hour right now maybe about an hour 58 minutes something like that maybe an hour 10 but we're in the, we're in the end game now make sure you capsulate really good because um you don't want to drill into this gold foil okay 50 minutes don't wait below time So if I wasn't live in this set would be done in about 45 minutes. It's different when you're live streaming, you're talking, you're reading comments, but when I'm working and I'm like just me, shh, you know it. I'm done. Get my bread and go. Get States come get their nails done by me. Wow, that, I miss that actually. The shape should be already there from the pre shaped tip. This uh, nice coffin tips, um, nicely curved this when you cut them down and become nice and tapered. Let's not have a nice, I'm gonna do a nice taper. Just like this, you got. I'm pretty sure you guys do a lot of this. Clients bring in like ombres, ombres and such. Uh, very, very simple sets. Um, make sure that you have all your stuff out ready. So I got my gold foil, I got my clear, I got my nude. I don't have to go find anything. So a lot of times you guys are running into uh, overtime because 
You're probably running around grabbing stuff, this and that. Eliminate that a little bit, save yourself some time, okay? Netflix. I don't have to worry about entertaining her at all. <laughs> Just quick filing, getting the shapes down. Um, generally, I don't have any lot of acrylic overflow on my sidewall, so I don't really have to worry about shaping too much. Um, just remember, guys, the concept of shaping is removing. The more you remove, the worse it gets. Okay? So over filing definitely an issue. I'm not saying that don't file. I'm just saying don't overfile. You spend too long filing, you move too much, guess what? Shape, it be gone. You cannot add more acrylic on after the fact, okay? Please understand that. So you don't, don't think that, oh, I, I spent 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes filing. I'm like, that's a lot of products you're removing. Is the shape the same? The structure the same? You know? You gotta really consider that, those facts. A lot of factors there that you gotta consider. Just because you're shaping a long time a lot doesn't mean it's right you gotta really really step back and say hey you know this is the best i can do or this is the, if i go too if i go too much I'm, the shape's gonna lose the shape or lose the structure then you gotta stop everything in moderation i generally try to get as popeyes crispy as possible Possible. Woo. And 80 is good too. I use 100 100 I really because I don't really file shape a lot. So 100 100 definitely works best for me. A lot of you guys use 8080. I used to love using 8080s also. I'll probably bring 8080 grip filers in later on too, but. Sorry guys, I have to have a little shout out for my enemies, um, supporters, they're in here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Generally, my, my, my fan base is a lot of Americans, so I, but I do have a lot of enemies, some um, followers, so I am multilingual. But everybody is welcome in this platform, now that studios. Vina! Vina is teasing me, man. Yeah, Vina, you, you make me feel so awkward. Yeah, Vina, that you make me feel so awkward when you say that. You realize you just sat there and listened to me say all that sweet Vietnamese words. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to Này làm live, làm live, mình làm mình mở mình để tên neo cha cho cái việc biết vô vô neo cha đó thì việc ông đi <cười> Vina stop please 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 leave please leave Vina I, I can't handle you or not please stop she's gonna tease Vina's a uh, part of the educator team our, our team Vino team Vina Tino and John and now Dad we traveled across the whole United States together last year taught over 500 students now child I've been <laughs> now child I've been uh, be Facebook uh, take down mất mất nick liền biết sao mấy người uh, bị mất nick không tại người Việt á nó thấy mình nó không nó không chịu chơi mình á tự cái thằng này thằng người nó Mỹ mà nó không phải Việt Nam đâu đừng hát đó 
เมื่อน้อยสองไม้บีแฮกเลยเมื่อน้อยสองไม้บีแฮกเลย Alright guys, so pretty much finished filing. I'm gonna, you know, sometimes you just gotta stop and just uh, get through the, the drilling process and stuff like that. And if you have to go back through and file again, then do that. I just don't think that you spend too much time filing and then like later have to go back through and do it anyways. This is counterproductive. I get it to like where I, I like it. Because before I, I buff and send her off uh, to, get, to wash her hands, I'm gonna check the shape again and I'll do any finishing touches then. But I still have to break down some bulk, you know? Not that much bulk. Just check all the shape mixtures. Nice and straight. Usually I'll hand file, but this time around I'm just gonna go ahead and go with my five and one bit. Um, they're gonna be back in stock soon. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting. I'm not. I'm sorry. Okay, five and one will be back in stock soon. I have an extra fine for those that requested it. This is a sharp five and one custom cross cut bit. Maybe we zoom in a little bit for this one. The reason I like using a sharp is it gets right into the crevices right here. so smooth, I really don't have to do that much. I appreciate the application, y'all. It's really hard to see, too, with the clears. So you really gotta touch it, feel the smoothness, and, and then things in there, okay? Good, everybody saying hi to Vian, like, Vian's a celebrity up in this line. So I'm switching my Denver class over to a beginner and advanced class. We're going to teach you products too, not just design only. And a lot of people are requesting it, so I'm going to change it up. Same bits you see on Amazon, they're a five and one. Yes, I had to make this one custom, it's a little bit different. Only, only my only people that bought this and use it notice. A lot of people message me like, oh my gosh, I thought it was the same one, I just want to support you, but it's actually a completely different. It is, it is. This is actually a smooth and remove. A lot of the other ones on the market, they're really gritty, so actually a lot of resistance, it actually removes a lot more. I don't like that because I my application is very, you know, it's pretty good, I would say. So I want something that will just smooth and remove. I don't want anything that's going to eat into it too much and ruin my structure or remove too much of my the acrylic. It just, just, it just runs over it nice and smooth. Look at that. Just like a baby's bottom. Yours is better? Thank you, Shuri. Try our white. Obviously, you've used it, right? You've used both, right? You've had uh, the others, the competitors. You had this one? What do you think about people who say long nails like these are not class are not for classy people? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's a difference in opinion, you know? My client's pretty classy. She drives a two hundred thousand dollar car. That's classy enough. <laughs> I mean I, I if driving a two hundred thousand dollar car and having long nails and you call me trashy, you call me trash all you want. It's a different world now, y'all. This is not like back in the day when women are at home baking bread waiting for the husband to come home. Okay, it's a difference in lifestyle. You want your mom nails so you can open seat belt, uh, car seat belts and, you know, change diapers, go for it.
and then you get those short nails that are like short stiletto looking like little kitty claws and no, no thanks. I'd rather be white trash than some Karen ass nails. God. Can you imagine what Karen nails look like? <laughs> Karen nails, oh my God. This should be a trend for that. I need to figure out what, they, what Karens wear. Next time I run to a Karen, I'm like, can I see your nails real quick? I'm like, oh, okay. Like that's oval. All right. I doubt Karens even go to nail salons to get their nails done. I feel like they're more of the Walmart, Walgreens stick on. Karen's nails are probably like anybody named Karen out there. I'm sorry, we're just using <laughs> probably regular polish, chipping already. Another set. Spicy. Anthony Lloyd. Hello. Probably one of my oldest, longest followers from England, UK. Sorry, I can't say England. UK. Now there's someone that has been growing in the nail industry. I still remember when you first started following me. Respectively, I've seen some of your work. It's grown a lot. I'm actually pretty happy. My platform has been here for almost two years and those are the ones that have been with me for a long time. I, I see their growth and it's, I'm, I'm happy for that. One of these days I gotta head up to the UK, do a class over there. Man, I go to UK, I gotta get it worth it. Maybe like a three day, four day class, some shit like that. Make it worth it for all the other people around the area to come in, to, in, to UK. My cubicle works unmatched. Thank you, Keisha. Yeah, I actually pride myself on my cuticle work. I'm very comfortable. This is not easy, guys. I'm using a very sharp bit and I'm running really fast. Um, but, you know, just start slow and work your way up. Yes, I still cut clients. I ain't perfect. So if you cut clients, it's fine. It's not, it's, it's not fine, but I'm like saying, like, it's not the end of the, the world. Like, you're not the only one. You will still cut clients to this day, okay? So much better than that glitter, like, but yeah, yeah, the glitter was kind of ugly to me. It's like blue, it's like why blue in this set is gold. Come to UK, Northern Ireland, yeah. I think I'm gonna do a UK class soon. I gotta find someone over there to set it up for me and me a venue and stuff like that. But I'm gonna have the UK, I have a lot of supporters there, and I think it's time for me to go international. Bahamas, UK, or like PR. I've been taking a quick break from classes. Just do one or two recently, but. Hello, Christine Tran. Thanks for the start. Oh my god, my start settings are still set on? I'm sorry, guys. I need to turn that off. <laughs> Thank you for the donations. I appreciate you. Australia, please bring a brush for me. You gonna go down under? Go down under. I would love to go to Australia. 
because I would definitely make a trip over to Vietnam while I'm at it. If Vino was still here, she'd be like, yes, let's go to Australia. Because you know dang well Vino's going to make a whole vacation out of it. She's going to go all like, yeah. This is what we need is for those places, you need, I need like someone there that knows the area, that can set it up, you know, start the group and stuff like that. I don't know the area and stuff like that, you know? Still here. <laughs> you hear that? You know, Australia. You go to Vietnam afterwards. Quick stop Vietnam, go back. <laughs> Do I do international class? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's time we start working on international class now. First, I gotta finish getting my global entry. International. I need to go to the Netherlands too. A Euro trip? A Euro tour? Mm, damn. Going to Germany for a wedding in about a year or two for my brother in law. Maybe I'll do a class in Germany while I'm there. <laughs> two birds, one stone. to put too much pressure in when you're drilling, especially when your application is very smooth. And I'm going to circular motion, guys. Circular motion. And it looks like I'm rubbing it back and forth, but I'm really not. I'm actually lifting it up as I come back. You don't want to rub back and forth because it's kind of counterproductive. This one worked out a little bit. Extra smooth. Perfecto. Two fingers left. What drill bit? This is my 501 Sharp. Fine. It's actually out of stock right now. Um, it'll be back in stock maybe in a couple weeks. And I also have a drill bit kit coming. A lot of you guys been asking for the kit. I put some uh, useful bits in there and also my favorite bits in there. For those of you guys that just want to buy the bits, uh, the, these ones separately, you can buy it separately or you want to buy in a kit, have a, the other partners in there. You can have it also. I always give away free knowledge, Keisha, you know that. This, my platform is all about free knowledge. I started this platform with free knowledge. All I, I, I just, the only payment I take is your support, that's it. You being here, watching, your time, you know, your passion, your shares, your likes, your comments. That's all I get in return and I'm happy for that. But you can pick up any free game here and better yourself, make that money, be successful. I'm all for that. No money out of my pocket. I make money regardless. Done. Buffer. Oh, 
you have a nice okay so now you can go back through check the shape if you want to finish any shaping this is now the time to do it sometimes we lose a little bit of shaping because we did this drilling that's why earlier i didn't shape too much i can go back through and do it now crisp it up because this is the finished product earlier if I would have done it spent all this time doing this I had to go back through and do it again anyway so that's why I don't I, I wait until I'm finished and I do it you know what I realized it's in these lives that I produce my best sets sometimes I do sets when I'm like not living and I'm kind of like not creative but I feel like whenever I'm doing living, I have more to prove. Plus, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of hundreds of people. So I work, I work harder. <laughs> I'm not as lazy. But, yeah. Go back, back to do more live streaming. This is actually when my, my passion first started. Here, on the live stream with you guys. At least the energy, to be honest with you. Knowing that people are here, supporting. I should produce some good, great sets. I can, I can I can name a few sets that are like really viral that I've done on live stream that when I post it is very viral. Ooh, baby! All right, we've reached Popeye's crispy. Oh, nice buff. There's a new bit I'm bringing in. It's like a metal sanding band bit that you can go through and sand it down. For those of you guys that like that, it's a nice finisher. Alright, let's get to wash our hands. This is when the cash app sound comes in. Ching! Ching ching! move on you, we not run to a corner and congregate without your permission, very thin coat, you get bleep, you'll keep your shape. Mmm, look at that ombre. This is a solid 15, this pink. Yes. A lot of people ask me about to get this uh, top coat and uh, my, my my top coat in bulk. I don't have in bulk, but I might do a deal where you buy like five and get one for like I don't know free or something like that. It'd be, it'd be like a bulk deal. It's just they just come in the 15 ounce bottles, so maybe do five and get one free or something like that. For those that buy it in bulk, yeah, that's I think that'll do that. That makes sense. Top. 
Hey, go ahead. How shiny it is. 60 seconds of carrying. He's shining bright like a diamond. Oh, he bumped it going in! Look here at the cuticles. That's cuticle work, y'all. The important thing is that the structure is there. So it grows from the cuticle. That's what I'm looking for. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me today. We just finished another set. together. Yes. Hey, right, thank you, y'all.